Well, he was the support act for Avalanche City and Ronan Keating. Now to launch his self-titled debut album, he's headlining his own nationwide tour. Please welcome to the cafe Kiwi singer-songwriter Kieran McMeekin. Yes. Thank you. It's really nice to have you in the studio. I've um, been a bit of an interesting road getting you to, the, to this point, hasn't it? Yeah, it has been. It has been indeed. But yeah. you're here. I'm here. And yeah. you're excited. I'm really excited, yeah. It's been like, especially this album, it's been about two and a half years of work. Um, 50 songs have been written for it, so it's been a lot of work. So is that good. normal? Do people write 50 songs for an album and then you, what do you have to whittle it down to? Yeah, I, I, I don't know if it's normal or not. It's, it's what, called Overachiever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I whittled it down to 17 and we recorded 17 and then we refined that down to 12. And then, so the 12 that are coming out today, uh, yeah. Are your favourite children? Are my favourite children? Yeah, children's <laughs> such a good way to put it. They really are. Well, they ain't little babies, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. They are. oh, okay, so given that then, it must be one of the hardest decisions to make to take it from 50 down to 11 because I would assume that every song you write you think is a good song. Well, <laughs> <laughs> the 17 were relatively easy to choose, Mike, because most of them were rubbish. Right. <laughs> the, the 17 were good, but whatever, the 33 were very ordinary. Uh, so yeah, sorry, keep going. On the 12 to pick from the 17, that was quite a challenge. Right. Because, you know, really, it's your, it's an album, it's kind of an art form in itself, you know, every song flows into the next one and it, it really... Because it's a little okay. bit different, isn't it, from releasing a single which can just stand on its own, but you want the whole thing to work together as well, don't you? Yeah, totally. So I had I had a bit of help picking picking the songs because it's yeah a tricky job, especially you, when you're so close. You to worked with Greg so. Haver, fra, who's uh, produced Manic Street Pre Preachers and also Jason Kerrison as well, and a generally nice guy as well. How did that come yes. about? Yes, yeah, I, well I met Greg down in Dunedin, actually, when I was living down there, and I was working with a, a producer at the time, Tim Greenslade, and he uh, somehow managed to get Greg to come along to his dingy little studio, which was the old Grand's Remedy building of all, <laughs> and to listen to some music, and he listened to some of mine. And it all just kicked off from there, really. We, yeah, we started working together from that point, which was a game changer, yeah. And we had, um, we had Louis Baker in here, and he talked a lot about sort of the APRA song hubs that go on. And, you know, the more I hear about them, the more I suspect they are such a great stepping stone. You've been part of that as yeah. well? Yeah, yeah. So can you tell us what happens with an APRA song hub? Yeah, firstly, it's just an amazing, amazing environment. Just creativity is just through the roof and everyone's just excited about writing, you know, and collaborating together. So it basically is just a week of 12 New Zealand songwriters with three international writers just getting together and just writing songs. It's and quite it was, incredible. Yeah. And you know, this is the six degrees of separation, but no degrees because it's New Zealand. You know, we had Louis Baker and he was talking about working with uh, Sasha Scarbeck, who produced Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball, etc., mm -hmm. etc. Well, I had Kieran in my radio studio last year with Sasha because they worked together on the song hubs. Didn't yeah, you? we did, yeah. Yeah. Right, OK. So, And I think you were the Kiwi that instead of just having a yarn about your music turned it into a songwriting session. Yes. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, was with, that was with Mozella, who I wrote this latest song, That Feeling With. So that came about at the end of Song Hubs. We, yeah, as you say, we were meant to have these 20-minute mentoring sessions. And I was kind of like, I don't really want to talk about my career, you know, with right. this, I'm in, the, in this room with this amazing writer, like, let's write a song, you know, so I just bowled on in there with my guitar, Love and it. yeah, we pretty much wrote the basis of that, that song in that 20 minute session, so. Wow. And what, sort of, and what cool. sort of background have you got? I mean, I know you're from Dunedin Ways, but are, you know, are you a farmer, are, you know, sort of what's your background? I wouldn't say I'm a farmer, but I have worked on a farm, I worked on it a farm for about four or five months. Oh, that totally was... counts. It. You're a farmer. Yeah, yeah, I'm a farmer. <laughs> did, you ever, did you ever enter the Gore Gold Guitar Awards? I didn't. No, I no didn't, farmer. But it's not too late. <laughs> no, it's not. With that voice, you clean up, my friend. <laughs> With this latest album, you, you've just called it, it's just Kieran McMeekin, isn't it? Yep. Because you thought about some names and nothing was really working for you? Nah, I, I had three, three album titles and it, I had one that was kind of the final straw, was uh, my friend told me this amazing story and the, the, the sort of theme of the story or the, the message of the story was to eat the strawberries yeah and don't even ask <laughs> but I, I was like captivated by this story and I was like that's my album title right there eat the strawberries eat the strawberries it's brilliant and I ended up calling my dad and I was like dad I've got I've got it I've got the title and he's like what is it I said eat the strawberries and he just he's just like mate sit down <laughs> we, need to talk. we needed to talk and he just yeah he rain, completely reined me in and he just said mate keep it really simple these songs are so dynamic and diverse you can't you can't put them under a you know under a, an album title just call yeah. it Kieran McMeekin 
image of your face as the album cover done. See, I think nice the album work. should have been called Done. That would have been, <laughs> yeah. that would have been really True. good. <laughs> done. Yeah, I like that. No, but congratulations. The album is out. And I know that you, um, you are supporting Andy Grammer yeah. later on this year as well. Yeah. Congratulations on that. That's awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. Thank you. I'm, I'm stoked. Just look at all the people yeah. you get to mix with. I know. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> hey, well, look, I just want to say thanks for coming yeah. and thanks for playing Thank as you. well. Thank Really looking forward to hearing that. Karen mm, McMeekin's yeah. album is out. And if you want more ticket details for the tour, you can go to eventfinder.co.nz because, as Brayden mentioned earlier, uh, tonight you are playing at Dunedin at the Savoy and then the Sherwood in Queenstown yes. on Saturday night, tomorrow night. Yep. And if you want them in Auckland, go to ticketmaster.co.nz. Now to play us out, here is Kieran McMeekin with his latest single, That Feeling from a State self-titled album. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Holding on to an instinct that I can't seem to shake Going home with an ink about to change waking up with a feeling i ain't felt in years brings me close to tears i have this hunch up in my stomach but i don't yet trust it it stood me up a bunch of times before and i have suffered I've loved enough to know that when it comes, you make the most. I never wanna let that feeling go. I don't wanna let this feeling go. Ooh, stop, give me that feeling, give me that feeling, give me that feeling. Don't stop, give me that feeling, no. Cause I don't wanna let feeling go don't stop give me that feeling give me that feeling give me that feeling time is of the essence spend it wisely it can all be lost in an instant if you take it for granted now that a seed has been planted Oh, your fear and shift up a gear. Yeah. I've been behaving kind of crazy because I got the secret making its way up to the surface. Now I can't suppress it. I can no longer go pretending like there's nothing going on. I want to let this feeling grow. This feeling grow Don't stop Give me that feeling Give me that feeling Give me that feeling Don't stop Give me that feeling no. Cause I don't wanna let that feeling go Don't stop Give me that feeling Give me that feeling Give me that feeling Giving me this feeling I won't be able to sleep Don't you stop giving me this feeling I need more than you think Keep on giving me this feeling I take it any way, shape, or form It makes me feel incredible I don't want to let that feeling go